Hey, my name is Phil and welcome to this video. Now today we're going to be doing a comparison video for two email marketing providers and that is Aweber versus GetResponse. Now in this video, I'm going to be sort of sharing like the main differences, the main points um, that separate the two as well as sort of how I personally think they work. Um, to give you a bit of background and insight, I actually started with Aweber back in 2014. Six months later, I was actually banned from Aweber. My account was disabled as I was doing affiliate marketing. Little did I know you're actually not allowed to do affiliate marketing inside Aweber. Um, so my account got banned and that's when I moved to GetResponse in about 2015. And I've actually been with GetResponse ever since. Now that doesn't mean that Aweber is a bad email marketing provider. And this is what this video is sort of going to talk about. Now what I'm going to be doing is basically doing a price comparison, feature comparison, um, sort of a user experience sort of comparison, and basically everything in between. Because if you are watching this video and you're trying to decide whether you should go with Aweber or GetResponse, hopefully by the end of this video, you should have your decision made. Now, just before we get started as well, if you do decide to choose either GetResponse or Aweber, I have left some links in the description. And if you decide to sign up through those links, you'll actually be able to get a bonus that I'm offering, which is some free email marketing templates that you can use as you wish. Um, there's more instructions on that down in the bottom. And just to let you know, you can actually uh, get started with both of them without a credit card today. There's a 30 day free trial with GetResponse as well as a free um, membership with Aweber for a very small subscription sort of subscribe account. I'll talk about that in a sec as well. So let's get stuck into today's video. Now I'm going to jump behind the screen in a quick second. Um, what I'm going to be doing is showing you side by side how the two different types of uh, email marketing softwares work. And I've also created a landing page. You can see the differences in the builders, which is actually quite interesting. I've also got some emails ready to go as well as a bunch of other stuff. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm actually going to jump behind the screen and show you today's comparison video. Okay, here we are behind the dashboard, behind the screen, and basically what I want to start with here is a price comparison between Aweber and GetResponse. Now we have GetResponse here on the left, we've got Aweber on the right, and I sort of want to walk you through the differences in the pricing plans. Now, as you can probably see, Aweber has actually created a free plan, but this free plan isn't fully featured, right? So when you do decide to get started with the free plan, you'll have limited functionality. Things like you'll be able to have um, only 500 subscribers, you'll be able to send 3,000 emails per month and you'll only be able to have one list profile and if you come down here there's loads of other things that um, you can and can't have so basically it reminds me of maybe MailChimp except it's probably less functional than MailChimp um, however it is a free plan if you want to bootstrap when you get started just keep in mind things like your uh, Aweber branding is going to stay there always and you're not going to be able to actually do much automation things like that However, once again, if you're starting out, it could be a good option. Now, if you look at the GetResponse plans, um, just to keep in mind, the GetResponse does give you 30 days with a fully featured plan. Um, so you can actually use it for 30 days without a credit card if that's something you wanted to test out. If we look at the pricing plans here, um, the pricing starts with up to a thousand subscribers, then it can goes in uh, two and a half thousand increments and also 5,000, 10,000 and so forth. So if I compare it to the uh, Aweber pricing plan, right, of the Pro, if we have a look here, the lowest one on GetResponse is a thousand, the lowest one on uh, Aweber is 500 and you're already paying another $4 um, over the top of GetResponse. If I change it to annually as well, just so you know the differences in pricing, um, we've got here $12.30 on GetResponse, $16.15 on uh, Aweber, and we've also got a 24 month plan with GetResponse, which drops it right down to $10.50. Now, a lot of people would probably be sitting in the two and a half thousand people uh, subscriber list sort of bracket. So, I'll quickly show you what that is for monthly, just because that's most what people are going to pay. So, once again, Aweber is slightly more expensive at $29 per month, while GetResponse is $25. Now, in terms of functionality, right, what's the difference? between the price points well if you scroll down the screen on Aweber if you look they have the free and pro plan the pro plan's got lots of green ticks in my mind that me that tells me that it's fully featured which it is in terms of Aweber however there is actually more functionality inside of GetResponse they've started new things like the uh, web web notifications as well as sales funnels and a lot of other things that they constantly seem to add into the dashboard I'll show you more about that once we get into it as well 
but those are just basically the two differences you've also got your um the basics as well you've got you know newsletters email marketing um autoresponders landing pages things like that they both have unlimited so that's completely fine uh, once again the price is all determined by the amount of subscribers now there's actually a couple of other um, plans that you can have inside of GetResponse. There's the Plus and the Professional. Basically the Plus in, uh, includes things like webinars, which you can actually have inside of there. It has more sales funnels that you can have inside of there as well. You've also got Work Together, which is basically like a hub if you have workers that work for you inside of your company, you can actually give them access to that as well. Um, and then you've also got things like the Aweber funnel and then you, oh sorry, the, the webinar funnel. And you've also got some other things like link tracking, to see where people are actually clicking so then you can retarget ads and you can retarget lists and segment them from there so that's basically what it is there's also a professional version which basically means unlimited everything um, once again except for subscriber size so if that's you um, which which is very cool if you are using that uh, there is also a plan for that uh, the only difference from there is each one is uh, slightly more expensive than the last, uh, but most people are more than happy enough to use the basic membership. Um, I've used the I've actually used a hybrid one because I've been with them so long that they're not actually using it anymore. But it's basically a mix between basic and plus, and that's more than enough for me. So that's basically the pricing, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get stuck into the dashboards, and we're going to start comparing from there. So in order to see these properly, I'm just going to spread them out just a little bit more so we can um, see them a little bit more clearly. So once again, this is the get response dashboard. This is completely standard. I haven't added any widgets or anything like that, even though you can actually add more over here. As you can see, you can drop widgets inside of here. There's loads that you can actually choose from, which is really nice. Um, but this is the back office. You can quickly and easily come at the top and go to your uh, marketing campaigns, your automations, your webinars, everything like that inside of this dashboard and you can also uh, see your up-to-date sort of list sizes your workflows your autoresponders how many people come in and you can even uh, add in specific uh, widgets for specific landing pages so for example if I wanted to put a landing page in here and I wanted to make it my affiliate list download which I actually just shot a video about a little while ago um, you can see how your landing pages are going and you can keep creating unlimited widgets which I really like now, if we go to Aweber, Aweber has also got a very clean user um, dashboard. What I like about it is how sort of easy it is to see how all of your lists are going. You can see how many sort of subscribed today, yesterday um, in total, how many unsubscribed, all that sort of good stuff. So it's very easy in terms of checking on your statistics and things like that. And you can easily also um, come in here and add some integrations and see how your campaigns are going, which is pretty cool as well. I think in terms of um, user experience, I, I personally like GetResponse better. However, everyone is different. So if you just like simple, clean, um, things like that, Aweber probably is the one for you. However, if you like colors and you like seeing different types of widgets, things like that, um, GetResponse is it. So now we can go into the landing pages tab. Now, surprisingly, this is actually quite significantly different between the two. Um, I've created a landing page on both, tried to make them the same. So hopefully it should look relatively the same. And I'm gonna show you how these builders work, right? So as you can see here, we have, I'll just keep skipping this tour thing. So here's the, the template i actually created this in get response first um, and then i created this in aweber now there's a few differences that probably is the make or break for a lot of people and uh, and that is get response actually has a limitless sort of um, drag and drop type editor which means you can just pretty much grab anything drop it anywhere you want and it's going to code it to that place which i believe is really good because then you don't have to fluff around trying to make things sort of fit trying to figure out the spacings all that sort of good stuff however when you come to aweber it's it's just a very old school sort of container built type thing so you have to um, create elements you have to create um, sort of containers for everything to fit and i tried to get rid of this label here i didn't know how the hell to do it and then i tried to also make this overlap and become bigger however i wasn't successful so long story short um get response is definitely much easier to use in terms of the page builder landing page builder um aweber is very old school right super old school um <laughs> 
I'm surprised they actually still do this. And I tried to even find a mobile sort of um, area where I can change to mobile to see what it looks like or um, find the thank you page, things like that. It doesn't have it. The only way I could really look at it is if I clicked on preview. However, um, get response, you have everything right here that you can quickly and easily go between the thank you page, variation, split testing, and your mobile view, as well as your HTML tags and you know all of the metadata, all that sort of good stuff. So landing page builder, Get response destroys Aweber. Sorry to say, but it's true. All right, so now let's get on to a newsletter sort of layout. Let's see what it looks like to actually create an email and send it out to people. So first of all, I'm going to come into get response and I'm going to create a new email and let's see what it looks like. So basically here is what we can call it for our back office sort of purpose. We can just call this the test newsletter like so. We can come down here, subject headline, we're going to say congratulations here are your free bonuses for being in the community and then um, what we're gonna do we can add a recipient which is just all lists and then we can go ahead and design how the email looks right so it's quite a seamless sort of experience you just go through the things as you want and then we come to all the different templates and um, just choose one that sort of resonates with you or you could just choose a blank one i'm just going to choose this one it's quite standard and while that's loading i'm going to do the same thing inside of aweber so for the broadcast i want to use the drag and drop builder because that's um how things are working these days and it's going to go ahead and load it like so so that's all ready to go now what i'm actually going to do is click on templates on the right and i'm going to try to find a similar looking one to the one we chose for get response um, for this example i'm going to choose this one here it's um it's pretty much the same thing so if we come back i believe this is actually loaded um it's a bit strange i'll try it again um just to see what it comes out like yep i think that's it it keeps doing that all right so there it is um it doesn't give us too much to start with but that's completely fine we can easily go ahead and create something so what i'm going to do is just really really quickly just type out some stuff i'll just um pause the video and fill it in okay so that is done i've quickly gone ahead and created um the same sort of layout same text um just on different pages the only things i can really complain about between the two is on aweber i have no idea how to make the text on the button bold um regardless it works and they both function really well i believe that probably get response has got an extra few options for actually editing things while um, aweber is probably a little bit less easy to use if that makes sense um, but that's just a personal preference they both do the same thing they both are able to uh, function uh, on aweber you actually type in the headline here for the subject so i'm going to say congratulations your free bonuses are inside something like that so that's all good um, what we can do is preview and test and i can send it to myself and then i'm going to do the same here test and preview um, so i'll send that as well so i will just go and get these emails and they both came through really nicely so i'll just show you what they look like first of all we have um the aweber one so that's actually been flagged as spam straight away um, because it's a gmail they probably both come from um they'll probably both say spam just because it's a gmail account not a domain but that looks pretty good um it's got the information right here powered by aweber so that's not too bad and if we go to yep they both have it so that's completely fine um that's the difference so they they basically look the same which is pretty good um so that's not too bad i'm very happy with both of them i believe they both do the same job um they both work really well i believe just probably a little bit more towards leaning towards get response in terms of how it is actually to use as there's more options when building it so that's really good i'm really happy with that so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to save all of this and exit and i'm going to now show you the automation okay so here we are here i've already created a quick draft inside of get response on a previous video and i've also created a few in here just to make sure um, i was up to scratch with how everything works so if i open up this campaign i created in get response and if i cr open up this uh, campaign i created in aweber you'll see sort of the difference of how it's going to work so 
in uh, get response I'll start here you can see how everything is in flow you can actually move things around to suit the sort of design that you want it to do now while that doesn't seem that important once you actually get quite a big amount of lead magnets once you be able to get like a lot of landing pages all of these things can actually interconnect and you can actually um, make people sort of go through different sort of funnels I guess from emails and on the right we've actually got all of the information to make it work now if we go to uh, Aweber we've got this particular type of scenario which you can actually do as well it's a little bit less graphic but I believe this is the difference in it as well um, but it can do exactly the same thing so if I scroll back here show you what it sort of looks like we've got subscribe by this send the email see if they've opened it if they have tag them here and then wait 99 days basically the same thing um, new subscribers getting an email say thanks for subscribing waiting a day and um, this is another email they would send and then uh, wait another day and then send them another email so it's basically the same stuff you can drop in tags as well um, but it's just to do with how the sort of builder works compared to it um, if that makes sense you know it's just the differences in the visual appearance of it now if I click on here it will go ahead and create the email I believe yep like so so you can actually edit your email here and then it's going to be built the same thing goes here as well if I wanted to uh, send a new email I would just go send message drag it say to the bottom here and make it all connect and then I would come to here and create a new message and it'll just go back to the email creator like we went through before so both of them are very easy to get started with once again you've seen how the flow works so you can create this on the fly and then you can go back to your uh, email automation which is really cool now I've actually just gone back to the dashboards because basically that's um, what I wanted to show you about them because you're gonna be doing automation every day you're gonna be creating emails every day um, you're gonna be looking at contacts every day these are the main reasons why I have shown you this also landing pages I um, shouldn't forget just looking at all the different options as well um, we also have inside here web push notifications Facebook ads which is a beta thing we've got forms and surveys uh, we've got the funnels which I mentioned earlier we've also got webinars autoresponders and newsletters there and as well as all the integrations when I come to Aweber same sort of scenario they also have web push I don't believe you can use it yet though um, they do have reports and tracking as well um, they've also got list automation and things like that as well subscribers you know messages so it's basically the same thing I just think maybe uh, get response has got a little bit more features and it's probably a little bit of a more polished product so what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna just jump behind the camera once again and I just got a few extra things I want to say okay so so that was Aweber versus GetResponse. These are the main sort of points on the two softwares that I sort of believe are the most important. Once again, GetResponse is probably a little bit more polished in my sort of opinion. It's got a little bit more features as well. Uh, I've been using that as a sole sort of landing page as well as email marketing tool for a very long time. I have used other ones as well to supplement um, the landing pages on GetResponse. However, GetResponse has always been my email marketing platform. They are super solid and they're very reliable. So um, that's my personal opinion once again if you want to give these two softwares a go I have left some links in the description and if you do use those links I'm also going to be sending you some free email marketing templates that you can use as you wish uh, more information about that in the description but apart from that that's it guys I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have please give it a thumbs up so I know you've enjoyed it and if you haven't yet make sure you subscribe to this channel there's loads of big things coming in the near future as well as loads of bonuses in the description so make sure you check those out and Apart from that, looking forward to seeing you on the next video.